everyone, Paula here from Goes to Eleven Media, bringing you another episode of Grounds for Divorce Coffee Reviews. Joined here by my husband, Rick. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, this Merry is awesome. Merry Christmas all. It's uh, Christmas week, mm -hmm. the final days before the big guy arrives. Yay! It uh, should be fun. We've got some jazzy shirts going there. Meowy Christmas. You get your little uh, putty tat there and all lit up. Yeah. One of my favorites from Rudolph. <laughs> the abominable, abominable snowman. snowman. I'm just here for the presents. What's he called? Abominable. Oh, is that yeah, it? That's it. He doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a name. Nope. He wasn't named. Bumbles bounce. <laughs> Bumbles? Bumbles, yeah. That's, that's he, his name? No, he just, that's what Yukon uh, Cornelius called him. Oh, a yes. Bumble. Right? <laughs> Bumbles bounce. I ever tell you about Bumbles? Bumbles bounce! <laughs> I remember. There you go. One of my favorite shows as a kid. I loved it. Yeah. All right. So, what have we got going on here today? We have some Christmassy lattes. Okay. More Christmassy than the ones last week? Yeah. Those ones were fun last week. <laughs> <laughs> I like those ones. Well, you kind of go like with the theme of the season, right? Winter's here now, and you just want those flavors that warm you up inside. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, all those spices, right? Well, and it's so funny because I've, I've started craving, I was talking to somebody the other day and I was like, oh man, I should make a stew. I wanted to make a stew and some biscuits mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I was like, ah, that'd be a good idea. Okay. It's like that cold weather, you need that sort of stick to your ribs kind of thing and mm -hmm. same thing with the coffees and stuff. Yeah, All right. I'm actually really excited for you to try these. Okay. Go ahead, start with the first one. All right. I have not tried that one. Okay. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Did it punch you in the nose? Is that why you jumped back? I jumped back. Nope. No. I want to kiss myself. Is this the cardamom one? Yeah. Yep. So cardamom, I was reading about that. It's a spice that goes back uh, 4,000 years. Wow. Ancient Egyptian, Egyptians used to use it. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's uh, and actually it was uh, grown in southern India, mm -hmm. but even a more uh, prevalent place that it's grown and, and as a crop, Yeah. Guatemala. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And it's considered even a more... Um, uh, I don't know if I would call it prestigious, but like a, a valued crop yeah. in Guatemala more yeah. than coffee. Wow. Cardamom. Yeah. It's one of the most expensive spices you can get. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I was reading. They're like, a pinch will do you. Because <laughs> you don't want to spend a fortune. Yeah, but, right. But you know what? It has... Um, it has a really interesting note to it. it mm -hmm. When you smell it, it almost has like a, a bit of a pine, like pine a crisp tree smell to it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I thought that that's it's reminiscent of Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, honestly, it has a real pine kind of note to it and a bit of a citrus as well, too. Yeah. But the citrus to me is much more mild than the the pine notes to it. Interesting. Try it and see. All right. I'm gonna cleanse the palate here in between. That's mm. good though. I like it. Smells very fragrant. Mm hmm. Do you see what I'm saying about pine? Mm hmm. Right. Yeah. So I mixed ground cardamom with honey. So I did about four teaspoons of honey to two teaspoons of ground cardamom. Do you find that was okay? Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, the the funny thing is, is that uh, through the magic of editing, mm -hmm. we have this. This here is uh, a product locally grown. Uh, lady that uh, I know from our neighborhood, uh, Kirsten, who owns Be Kind um, Honey Infusions, and she created this honey, and it's it's almost like I guess it's like a oh what is it called with the um, the honey? It's not the liquid. What do they call it? 
Oh, creamed? Creamed. It's almost like a creamed honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But you want to talk about Christmas in a jar is this one here. And it's the mm. iced chai honey. And it is just like you're having um, uh, like a, a chai latte or a chai tea or whatever right. that flavor. Mm -hmm. And it is so darn good. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just eat it by the mouthful. Yeah. And <laughs> so I'm going to put the link down below for you guys. Cause if you want to order it from them, it's a beautiful product. Um, one of my favorites, but it reminded me of this, the, the cardamom tea or the latte we're having a little bit. Yes. So that has a distinct cardamom flavor to it, but it's very warm mm -hmm. and I don't want to say it's like kind of comforting. Yeah, and it's also cardamom. They, they also link it to being like a ginger as well. Mm -hmm. So, do I have something on my mustache? Do a I? little. Oh, was that was that a subtle hint? <laughs> I don't think anyone would really notice it was brown. <laughs> <laughs> Mad dog. <laughs> Mad dog. <laughs> hey, you know that reminds me of the time I went out to this one craft brewery. Yes. We were doing the Ghost Eleven craft crawl, and I sat there. The, the guy lined up like twelve beers for me to drink, and I'm like, twelve beers? My goodness. <laughs> And so <laughs> they, they all had a good amount of a head on the top of them. Mm -hmm. And I totally didn't think about a napkin. And I'm drinking these beers and I'm talking to the guy through the whole interview. Yeah. And I got this, <laughs> just look terrible. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's just oh, well. kind of like, oh, well, mad dog. <laughs> here we go. What Try do we got this here? one. Another latte. All right. This one's probably going to be fairly mild. Hmm. Yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. Trying to pin what that note is. What is it? It's good though, I like it. What did you just talk about? This? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I put a heaping teaspoon in here. Well, I have to say, I wondered why, where did all the honey go? <laughs> I just bought this jar and one. Where did it go? Wow. I've had a few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Mm. That's really nice. I like that. Mm. Yeah. All right. Number three. Here you go. It's sweeter. Mm -hmm. It's a lot sweeter than the other ones. This one's not sweet. I would say actually, if you were to line them up, this would be not as sweet, getting a bit sweeter, and this would be the sweetest. Okay. So I did a simple syrup. So these two are honeys. Okay. This is a simple syrup. And can you taste like that there's a flavor other than coffee and milk? Yeah, it almost had like a chocolatey flavor to me. Oh, that's neat. It's um, almond, almond extract. I made an almond syrup. Really? Mm-hmm. Which is surprising to me that I would Doesn't even... Doesn't taste like chocolate to me. No, but it, it's surprising that I would even say that I like it. Because, you know, one of the things that I... I'm good. Thanks. That, that I can't stand ever since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Marzipan. Yeah, I don't care for that either. Almond paste? Like any of that? No. Mm. It, that doesn't taste like that, though. It doesn't. It's good. Yeah. It needs to be warmed up. It's cold, though. Come on, give it. You the, already know. Get with the program, okay? <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> you tried it earlier, hot. How was it? It's good. That was the one. Okay, it's and good. I didn't tell you what it was. No, well, there, it was really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. It's just almond it's chai. It's a little sweet. That's for me. Well, then maybe a bit more almond extract and just a few drops of the syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Make your own next time. Oh my goodness. Well, now we also have one other thing sitting here. Yeah, what is it? They are uh, ginger snap cookies. Yes. And why, why did I make you ginger snap cookies? Because we had our friends Randy and Lori over for a coffee last night. <laughs> yeah, but you like crispy, crunchy cookies. I do. I do. And you did a good job on these. 
good. Yeah, and, and as you said to me, that they're really good dipped in coffee. I haven't had it in a coffee yet, so. <laughs> it's too Doesn't fake for that guy. <laughs> so yeah, really good. Awesome. Well, folks, listen, we wish you all the very best. Um, we probably won't get another segment done before the new year. So uh, we will be back at the beginning of January with another segment. Mm -hmm. Take a, a couple of days off for a little bit of a rest here. Wish you folks all the very best. Be safe. Be smart. Enjoy your time with your loved ones. And we will see you back here in the new year, 2022. Wishing you a very, very Merry Meowie Christmas. Meowie Christmas. <laughs> see you Ciao. later. Next year. I reformed this bumble. He wants a job. Looky what he can do.